Hi Virgo, it's me Alex, and I'm here to bring you a bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what the universe has for you, Virgo. Virgo, woo! Jumper, eight of wands, all right. What Jimmy David crack calling stuff do you have going on, Virgo? information being thrown at you at once you try to figure out what to do set those boundaries I feel like you're afraid to set certain boundaries because you're afraid of kind of being left out in the cold by a lover okay so it kind of looks like you're under pressure for some reason maybe pressure in a relationship pressure at school at work um, with the IRS right uh, Eight of Wands is movement and momentum. Uh, this kind of feels like an answer to a prayer. It was almost like not only did the universe answer your prayer, but they turboed it, right? They answered it and then they, you know, sped it up uh, by uh, things where things are falling in into place quickly. Things are happening quickly. Well, there you go. Star card, Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Two of Cups, but Seven of Seven, you're still unsure of what to do. Okay. Oh, you think you're walking away from something that's long term, but Queen of Wands, you're attracting, it's almost like you're getting what you want, but you're nervous about it. You don't know if you should head towards it. Boy, if that's not a Virgo thing to do. Okay, so Eight of Wands and the Star card. A wish is being answered like stat, right? Um, possibly even by August, which is Virgo season. Um, so I kind of feel like whatever this is that you have your heart set on, you've been wishing for, wanting, praying, trying to manifest, trying to get it going. Because um, I feel like you've been praying hard, Virgo. Okay. Um, with the Hierophant and the Five of Pentacles, this is something that you want to complete you, right? Um, something that... Um, you really, really feel like it's going to make you happy. And I feel like you're excited. You're motivated about it. I love this, the Page of Swords, because I feel like you're not really sharing this with a lot of people, which I think is always a good idea. People's energy tends to water down your manifestation. So, you know, I would always advise people to keep things to themselves, you know, um, if you want to share it, share it after you don't cash the check. It's in your account and the shoes are on your feet, right? Um, definitely do not share anything that's in the planning stage. Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. You're trying, you're taking your time. You're trying to be meticulous as far as what's the best approach to take. Um, I feel like you are putting yourself under probably some unnecessary pressure. You guys tend to overthink. So I just kind of feel like, yeah, there's, there's, there's definite pressure here to make a decision that you possibly are probably not ready to make. It's going to require you now, this is going to sound weird. The five of swords is ghosting. It's feeling defeated. It's like, listen, what else do I have going on? Let me go ahead and take this leap of faith. But that's why I was saying it sounds weird because I feel like, yeah, you are taking a leap of faith. You are walking walking away from something that no longer serves you. Whether again, it's a job, it's a person, it's a place, it's a thing. It's almost like the universe is saying, Virgo, let it go. Seven of Pentacles kind of says, okay, now make sure you got a plan in place. You know, don't just go cold turkey. Um, five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, whatever this is. This to me almost feels like a situation where someone is toxic they could be verbally abusive um um there could be lack of or minimal or crappy communication right whatever this situation is the the um knight of swords and the page of swords you're finito right like that's communication that is the flow of communication and it just 
feels like communication sucks, to be honest. To be honest. Okay? Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This to me is being a go-getter. This to me is, yeah, good. get out there, Virgo, and get what you want. Please. Twice. Thank you. Um, I'm also hearing that within especially the next two weeks, two months, some of you are going to attract new love. I really want to say to you, Virgo, it kind of feels like the universe is trying to bust you out of your comfort zone. If you notice, like I just noticed, two major arcanas, the Hierophant and the Star, everything else is free will. Everything else is up to you. Somebody may want to start a conversation with you about your next steps, but you could be a little resistant, resistant to talk to them about it. And I would be too, in all honesty. As a matter of fact, how, how about we not talk to them about it and never call them again? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, with that Queen of Wands there, yeah, I kind of feel the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Swords. This person really may just want to gossip about you than, you know, help or advise you. Okay, so yeah, be very careful about gossip and, and hold your business and information close to your chest. Keep it to yourself. Because I feel like some people around you don't have your best intention, don't have great intentions. Um, I'm also hearing this could be a work scenario where something could have gotten out, something you said, there's a lot of talk, too much gossip, and you're like, listen, I'm out of here. I got to go. But here's the thing. Here's the beautiful um, gift. Because the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, I feel like... Um, you standing up for yourself, you putting your foot down, you setting those boundaries is going to bring you closer to someone, by the way. That's that's weird, right? Like you get you get mad, curse your boss out and bump into your next love. <laughs> I can't. I love it. Seven of Wands. There it is. Angels just said to me, please make sure that you are not getting in the way of your manifestation as well. Yay, sun card. Yeah, you're about to have a wish answered, uh, a prayer answered. I have the Hierophant. I also have the star card. This is wishes fulfilled. That to me is the religion card, which represents prayer, right? Spiritual advisor. Okay, there you go. Welcome to your reading, Virgo. The Hermit. This is something you've been thinking about a lot, getting excited over, but not talking about good 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 strength good 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 i'm hearing be careful and beware of procrastinating okay so no procrastination for you overthinking could be a form of procrastinating so just be aware of that ten of swords it's like why well, i gotta make this decision god could you just make it for me god is like no virgo you gotta do it yourself <laughs> page of swords Somebody's curious about where you're headed. Somebody's curious about where you been. I haven't seen you. I need to know your business so I could talk about you. Mm, I gotta go. I gotta go. Ooh, Ace of Cups. See what I'm saying? You're coming out of this this um, tricky, verbally confusing, abusive, gossiping type of situation, and you're headed right towards a, an incredible, loving environment. And I feel like your wishes are being fulfilled. No, angels. Uh-uh. My angels just said the person who may be talking about you may be secretly in love with you. Ew. No. That is such an attractive feature in people. Gossip. Oh, no. No. Or somebody may be trying to spread gossip with you. Gossip with you. Oh, because on the low low, they trying to get to know you. No. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. That is an ugly trait. That's just me personally. Like, don't gossip with me. Then be like, okay, so what are you doing for dinner? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Carl. There we go. Be real. I kind of, I want to say, and I heard, especially from looking at this strength card. I feel like somebody in your immediate space is wearing a false mask. I don't know who that is. Trust all will be well. There's that take a leap of faith and know that your prayers are being answered. God is coming to scoop you up out of this crazy situation, Virgo. Attend to the details. That kind of says to me, know your part, 
right? Are you contributing? If so, stop it, right? If not, good. <laughs> Ooh, honor your feelings. That's that seven of wands standing up for yourself. Seven of wands here and seven of wands here. Sticky, sticking up for yourself or sticking up for someone. Maybe they're gossiping about someone else and you're like, don't be talking about Carl like that. Bless his heart. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, two of Cups, you could be meeting in Aries with Pisces or Pisces with Aries. Maybe even a fellow Mercurian, a Gemini. Um, and I feel like this person uh, comes rushing in at the right time. Right when you've just walked away and maybe you feel regret, you feel remorseful, you feel sad that you had to leave or leave behind the situation. Hey, come new love like, hello, Virgo. May I love on you real quick? I've also, I also feel like some of you could have been depressed. You've been depressed for some time. Well, you have the sun, the sun will come out, right? It's, it's coming out in your life, Virgo. You just have to shift, right? You have to shift out of this space, this dark energy with, um, how can I say dark energy with, um, negative communication shift. You know, look towards your future, leave the job, you know, look for a job, apply for school. It's it, seven of pentacles kind of says you've been sitting in this space for some time now. And I feel like the universe is saying, aren't you overwhelmed enough? Aren't, aren't you battered and bruised and, and, um, worn out enough? It's time to shift. Cause I feel like in that next phase, one to two months, one to two weeks, you have new love coming in. Queen of Pen uh, Queen of Wands is gorgeous. You hear me? So I feel like this new person that you're gonna meet could be a love at first sight. Could be like, who child? I just I don't even want to shake your hand. I just want to lick you. <laughs> All right. And on that note, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Virgo, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.